Perfect little sitting chair. Oh, whoopee. look at that little rock. How beautiful. Go this way. I want to show you guys a cool place if you guys are even watching. in this spot. I always, I always pass it. This is where I kind of hang. Sometimes I like to go over there. Other times I like to go up there, over there. Thinking about doing that today. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. Beautiful place. Let me go down off over here. It's kind of a path. I didn't one. Let me hold you with the other hand. Oh my god, big, big bumblebee. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom while I'm in this mode. Oh no, can we chase it down to look? Can you guys see it? Kind of. Where are you? Oh. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh my god, look at how beautiful you are. Big bumblebee. I love watching bees fly in slow motion because it's like they actually don't know what they're doing. It's so cute. Oh, I wish I could get closer, but I don't want to like touch him. Okay. All right, bees. Goodbye. Oh, hey. Find an easier path right here. Wow. Thanks, bees. Here we are. I thought sitting right there would be comfy. Right here. That's where I usually go now. Let me, let me set you guys up. Let me drop off my shit, actually. Oop. Haha. <laughs> Sponsor my job. Great. Look a little hole here. What's in there? I've always wondered. Hopefully not a spider. And there's this little area right here. 
Then we can go under. And looky there. We got the creek right there. And a random lady. Great. Totally doesn't make me feel like an idiot recording. Oh, is that a dead something? Looks like it floating there, but I don't think it is. It's beautiful. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. I have a weed. Alrighty. Lighter. Alright, so. I hear something, but I'm just going to hope it's not a human. Oh no, okay, it must be a bird. <laughs> Anyways, hi guys. I'm here to chill and eat sushi with ya. So, uh, yeah, it's been a very long time. But, uh, here we are. <laughs> Legitly a long time. I'm 19 now. Hello. We're gonna eat sushi together. Have a little bit of a mook bong, bang, bong, bang, whatever. Mook bang. I don't know what it's called. Anyways. But, um, yeah. Figured we could just do this because I was bored a second off I got my phone back. That's great. Um, yeah. Plus, it's been forever, so I figure I might as well, you know? Um, so I'm 18. Let's see, what's the last thing you guys probably know? Um, moved to Louisiana, huh? I moved to Louisiana. What happened after that? You quit creating content. Oh boy, I wonder why. Well, currently, I am in Colorado. Uh, Denver, Colorado, somewhere there, you know, big city. So, you know. And, um, a lot of stuff has happened. So, I have Scrapper. Scrapper's doing good. Nothing much to say about him. He's eight years old now. He's um, <laughs> he's starting to cry out, like, ah, and talk more and whine and be a little bit more vocal, which usually I'd be really worried about, but honestly, he's super cute. Um, <laughs> so that's great. Um, then I have Skya, which I'm sure you guys probably know about if you guys have seen uh, some of my older videos, which is... Uh, Hard to tell, because, uh, it's been a really long, really long time. Um. So, yeah. Skaya, my little rat. He had a, um, so he, we walked, I walked, oh yeah, I was at work, right? And whatever, just a normal day, just hanging out, doing my work, and then, uh, on the way home, I got a phone call from my mom. I was 30 minutes early coming home, so that was great, and, um. I was like, hey, what's up? She called me three times, so I had to pull over and answer. And she was like, hey, this guy's acting really weird. And uh, I think you should come over as soon as possible. He needs his Tori. I was like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. I'm Tori, or birth name, Serenity. Hi. Kind of given up on not telling you guys. I guess I didn't want to, but, I mean, whatever. Now you know. <laughs> May 15th is my birthday. I'm Serenity go by Tori sometimes. I also like Cat. What's up? <laughs> My little kittens. How you doing? <laughs> um, but um, when I got there, he like, every time you picked him up or he uh, tried to move somewhere, 
you do all these twisty turns and spin and spin and spin and spin, kind of like a snake when you put it in its wrong bedding and it doesn't know where it's at and everything. Um, and one of his eyes was bulging out. And just like sometimes if it was in the right light, you could see it like wandering. And um, so it made me think it was a tumor. But I was kind of thinking because he didn't like know where he was and doing the spinning thing. Get out of here. It's my food. Um, I thought it might have been just a really bad ear infection or eye infection. But it was a tumor. Found out because uh, I couldn't go into the vet with him. Because, you know, the whole coronavirus thing, and uh, also because I had to work, so I had my mom take him. And so, I was at work while I was getting a whole bunch of calls about how, how he was doing and everything, and um, we had caught him right before he had felt any pain or anything. The vet said that he was just really uncomfortable, uh, but he couldn't feel pain. And um, we had a, I had a choice to either, so there was like a 10% chance that it wasn't an infection. But it was like a 90% chance that it was a tumor. And I had a chance, I had to choose whether to keep him and see if it, if it is an ear infection, if we could like get it better and help it and everything. Um, by the way, for reference, uh, by this time, he is three to four years old. Um, old rat, got him as a uh, pet feeder actually. Or a... Sorry, B. I just... My toe was right there. <laughs> Don't come back with vengeance. I'm so sorry. Okay, that was a fly. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Feels so bad. He was just chilling on my shoe, but like, my shoe has this little opening here. Yeah, I'm not wearing socks. Whatever. Get grossed out. I don't care. There's no point to wear socks. But I don't know if you could see, but it's all torn up. And he was sitting right here, and I was like, oh no. Anyways. Um, if you had to choose whether or not, and I decided, well, since it was before the pain, and I had to work, you know, I've, I've been pull, pulling pretty long shifts during the day, and he couldn't get to his water or his food to eat, and I was like, I can't have him live that life. He, he, he's an, ex Sky I loved to explore, and uh, just like, he was super curious, so I can't even imagine being him and not being able to even move around, you know? got to be bad for him, you know? Plus, um, he lived three to four years, and for a rat feeder, like, a feeder rat, that's pretty good. He lived a good long life, so I, uh, I decided to get him, you know, taken care of, and, um, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna take a bite real quick. But, um, yeah, it was really upsetting, too. This was about, um, I'm going to say a week and three days ago because it's been three days since I've gotten his ashes back. And it was going to be a week since, um, we got him back. But, uh, yeah, the hard times have been when I've been coming home. I, that's when I usually, like, um, cut up all these veggies for him. And I'd sit him down in my lap while I watched him shows and ate my dinner and, chill with him and everything but I mean he lived a long happy life so I'm trying not to be upset about it I cried a couple times of course Whoops. got some magpies hanging out here what's up little bud Power on. great my bluetooth powered off damn it are you kidding me Guess I'm eating some dirt. Jesus. Anyways. Yeah. That happened. Um, also, my mom was going to get married. Oh, yeah. I moved back with my mom. Because um, I was living with my uh, boyfriend. And my boyfriend was living with his mom and uh, his mom's boyfriend currently. So just, it kind of got all weird. And uh, things didn't really work out. And so I wasn't able to stay any longer. And this all happened during Christmas, and I had to stay up here in Colorado while we were visiting. They didn't bring me back. So, that happened. But, um, me and my boyfriend are still keeping it in touch. It's just, you know, the whole thing, how it worked out, it was just whatever. But, 
It was completely my fault. Don't get it wrong. It was my fault. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it was. Um, anyways. Yeah. Started working at Tokyo Joe's, though. Good sushi. Good sushi. Which is also their uh, Wi-Fi password, in case you guys want to know. All low caps. Good sushi. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I love sushi. Get out of here, little fly. It's mine. So what I do is I put the ginger into the soy sauce and I let it, like, soak it up. And then I like to take the ginger and I like to dab it back and forth between the sushi and the soy sauce. Because sometimes when you just dip it in there, all of the rice absorbs all of it and it's just too much. But if you just dab it a little bit until it gets a nice little golden brownish on top with that ginger... It's perfect. You get that good old bite. You have the tanginess of the ginger, which makes it taste like a whole new roll. Mmm. 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 Anyways, um... Yeah. Mom got a new uh, fiance. He's really cool. Hi, little guy. Um, he's really sweet, actually. It's funny. So, like, it sounds weird. Because, like, whenever people are like, who is he? How is he? Like, is he a good guy? I'm like, he's oddly sweet. And not in the way of, like, a perverted way where he's, like, hitting on me and stuff. No. It's like, uh, there's this one time. Me, Mom, and uh, her boyfriend, Kevin is his name. Or fiance, sorry, my bad. Um, I'll just, fuck me. I'll just call him Wookie, because we also call him that because he can do the Wookie call perfectly. Anyways, but um, we all went to the mall, and uh, at this parking spot, there's this one guy that was halfway in the parking spot and halfway out. So it was really hard to get around. And all these cars, like, this one lady came up, and uh, she kind of slowed down. Not kind of, kind of not knowing what to do. She's like, uh-oh, I don't know if I could get past that, whatever. And he just looked over, he was like, hey. Want me to guide you? I can. I'll help out. And he walks right the fuck over there. And he's guiding her. And then he guides the ne next, like, three or four cars. And I'm like, I would have never thought about that. I would have just thought, oh, that guy's a dick for doing that. And everyone's confused and walk away, you know? I wouldn't think about, oh, well, let me guide the people. It's fucking just, like, insane. Well, like, after the three to four cars, he came over and was, I was like, you're too nice, dude. He was like, what? What do you mean? I was like, Never thought about that. That's sweet. That was nice. That was a good, just a good human in general, really. Which is really cool. But, um, yeah. Currently, he's uh, up in Arizona. He was down here, but then, uh, the quarantine happened, and of course they needed a little bit of a break. So, uh, that's good. They're getting their break, um, without too much of a horrible hassle or a mess or breaking up, you know. Because you need your space, and quarantine did not do that for us. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. He's really cool. Really is. Um. I don't know if you guys are still recording. I guess I could check, but. Okay, after that one, I'm going to have a little bit of a bow. And I realized this is, I don't know, does, um, does YouTube take it down if you smoke on camera? I don't know. I have a med card, though. I mean, like, I'm legal. It's fine. So, you know, no, no, no fights to be pitched or pitches to be fought or whatever. Now you're humans. There's also a jumping spider really close near you guys. You probably don't want to hear that, especially if you're in the, um sound of your own home but it's jumping spy in spider in area and uh he's a pretty boy he's a beautiful black boy look at that all right anyways i love spiders i love animals just these i don't want to get my toes stung if my shoe wasn't like that i would not have fl flicked you off i just thought if i poked you you would have gotten mad so instead, I, get, I, I, uh, I considered giving you concussion instead, so that I'd be gone after you woke up. <laughs> no pain, no gain, baby. 
I'm never going to gain. Nah, I'm joking. But yeah. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, if anyone's watching this, you can put down in the comments, like, what's been going on in your life? Have you had any new animals come into your life? Any new people come into your life? Have you moved recently? Have you um, had some passings go by? Um, anything, man. Hell, I know with the quarantine thing, we're not doing much of any of that. So hell, even if you're, you've started a new show, what is it? What is it about? And why do you like it so much, you know? And uh, I don't know, just random crazy shit like that. Sounds fun. I love to read about that shit. I don't know, hell, even some of the new games you've bought. Other than Animal Crossing, my little brother will read the comments. Actually, no, everyone who got Animal Crossing, write down in the comments right now with all caps. I bought Animal Crossing New Horizons. Do it. Because my brother will be jelly, and he's really cute when he's jelly, so do it. Anyways, yeah. Three fifty. All right, I have thirty minutes, so I'm gonna end this for now. Maybe I'll record myself walking back, but like, what's the point? We have the destination and the meal, the little mukbang bong thingamabobber. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys are having a good day, and if not, then I hope it gets better. Because we all, you, you know, there's always days where you're feeling shitty, shit, shitty. I hope this was, uh, calming for you, in a sense. And, uh, good to catch up again. I've been thinking about doing random videos here and there now. Been thinking about ghost hunting. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. Just exploring random places and having fun. Oh! I do want to show you guys. This is Wookiees, but... He had forgot it, but he's coming back, so that's cool. But look, it's a little fire starter thingy. It's so cool. I've been lighting my cigarettes with it. Yeah. Get out of here. Ah. All right. Just so that I can turn you guys off and uh, switch over to YouTube or talk to my boyfriend, you know. You know, no bugs will get in it. Hope no one threw it rock at that duck. That's what that sounded like. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, you guys are still here? You haven't clicked off yet? Jesus. Really? Well, fuck. What are we gonna do? Huh. Look at the flies over there. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you around. Since you haven't left yet, if you're gonna stay, 